white fluffy up high, softly floating above us, the clouds in the sky. Hello there, Mr. Dugan here. This lesson is for grades two, three, and four. Okay, uh, today we're gonna be dealing with some poetry as well as uh, how to perform that poetry in a musical way. And the name of that poetry is... Say it with me. Hi, coo. Hi, coo. Okay? It is a Japanese form of poetry uh, that has three lines and 17 syllables. It is, it's a very specific sort of formula about it. Um, it's usually written about nature. Most of them have to do with the trees and the air and the water and um, nature. It's usually what they're about. The next is to understand the actual form of the poem. Okay, and like I said before, it is three lines. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Each line has a set number of syllables. The first has five. The second has seven. The last has four. Five again for a total of 5 plus 5 equals 10 10 plus 7 equals 17 for a total of 17 syllables in the entire haiku okay so let's go about the process I want you to be taking in order to write these okay so first off you're writing poetry, first thing you need, you need a topic. You need something to write about, okay? And we are going to take a cue from how haikus are usually written, and we are going to write about nature. Because, you know, I think it's a great time to appreciate nature, because we're kind of apart from it. Not entirely, because the air we breathe is still nature. The light coming in from the window, that's the sun. That's still nature. You go look outside, you can see the grass, you can see the trees. Hopefully you're still around some people. Guess what? We're part of nature. So it's still there, even though you might feel a, li a little apart from it. Um, so, for our example haiku here, let's just go with the sky. I want to write about the sky. We're going to go topic. Sky. Or maybe the sky be more specific okay and here's how I encourage you to go about writing these know the form which again is five seven five start anywhere just think about something about the sky let's see here um, the sky is blue that's only four The clouds in the sky. Boom, five. That's a place to start. And you can always change it later. Or you can write a second one. I'm going to put the clouds in the sky at the end here. The clouds in the sky. Five syllables. We're a third of the way done. And now I know where I'm going in my poem. The clouds in the sky. Hmm. So that's the conclusion of my poem. Let's think here. White, fluffy, white, fluffy, up high. White, fluffy, up high. It's a start. Again, you can change it. White, 
fluffy. Up high. And five, white, fluffy. Up, oh, I'm sorry. White, fluffy, up high, five. Now we just need one in the middle, that's seven. White, fluffy, up high, something, 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 the clouds in the sky. White, fluffy, up high, floating above our heads. That's only six. Hmm. Softly floating above us. Softly floating above us. That's a haiku. May not be a good haiku, but that's a haiku. White, fluffy, up high. Softly floating above us. The clouds in the sky. Hmm. Eh. It's not the best haiku I've ever written, but it's a haiku. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Okay? So that's how you would want to go about doing. Step one, you want to have a topic. Step two, um, get your form, which again is three lines. First line, five syllables. Second line, seven syllables. Five line, or I'm sorry, third line, five syllables again. And then, once you have your topic in your form, just think something you can say about your topic. Again, I just started counting on my fingers, make sure I was getting the right syllables. The clouds in the sky, five. And I could have put that here or here. And then from there, you know you at least have a piece of it and you have a jumping off point. And then you can build from there. Um, now it's on to the performance part. Another uh, vocab word we're going to need for this. One we have haiku, right? The other one is ostinato. Spelled like this. Ostinato. And an ostinato in music is just a, a small, repeated musical idea. So the key words here are small and repeats. Whenever we do, all the grades know this. Whenever we do, I apologize for the echo. Whenever we do our clapping, that, if I would keep that going, and I would just keep that going in a loop, that's an ostinato. Because it's short and it repeats. Okay? So that's the other half of our lesson, is we are going to write an ostinato that we can play while we perform our haiku. Okay? And you know what? Now would be a perfect time to remind ourselves some rhythms. Okay? I go first, then you. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Do, 
do, do, do. Beautiful. And these all, all these rhythms could be used as ostinatos. They just have to repeat them, right? Me first, then you. One, two, me first, do, do, day, do, do. See, one more. Me first, then you. One, two, me first. Do they do? Do they do? Okay. And just because this one's up here, why don't I go ahead and use this one? Okay. And all I'm doing is I'm going to loop this rhythm. Do they do? Do they do? Okay. And we're going to perform our ostinatos. I know some of you have musical instruments at home. But just for exploration's sake, I'm going to ask you to perform your ostinatos on just anything you can find that, of course, your parents are okay with you using. And that your siblings, if, they're, if, if you're borrowing something from your brother or your sister, I'm sure you ask. Um, but just stuff you have lying around the house. Okay? I have this little tin that I put my guitar picks in. I'm going to use it like a maraca. Do they do? Do they do? Okay? Will be an ostinato, right? Brings us to my performance of the haiku that I made up for us, um, or sorry, for myself, and the ostinato I chose. Okay, and again, I'm just using something I have lying around the house. There might be something in your house that could sound like a maraca, or you could just get two pencils. Sorry. I mean, it's something, right? Be creative. Be creative. Um, and here's how uh, we are going to perform our haikus, okay? White, fluffy, up high. Softly floating above us. The clouds in the sky. Right? Okay? So when you record yourself doing your haikus, um, I want you to do it like that. I want you to have a little bit of the ostinato in the beginning so you can really sort of get that, that feel, that rhythm going before you have to speak. And also, I would encourage you to practice it before you record it. Um, that way, it's it's the best it could possibly be. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, cdugan at alphaschool.org. Um, there will be another lesson coming next week. I hope um, to see you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to the people in your family. It's tough being being uh, locked up with other people. So um, be there for one another. I will see you soon. And I can't wait to hear your haikus. Mr. Dugan out.